Tab Hunter was one of Hollywood's top matinee idols. He starred in over 40 movies, including the wartime love triangle Island of Desire in 1952. By 1954, Tab landed his first lead role in the movie Return to Treasure Island and was subsequently offered a contract by Warner Brothers, one of the last actors to be tied into the old studio contract system. His breakthrough role came in 1955 when he was cast as a young Marine in the World War II drama Battle Cry. The movie became Warner's largest grossing film that year, cementing Hunter's position as one of Hollywood's top young romantic leads. Warner decided to push Hunter to star status and paired him with Natalie Wood in two back-to-back -back features in 1956. He refused a third film with Wood to avoid being set up as a romantic couple by the studio's publicity department. In 1957, he sold over one million copies of his record Young Love, young winning a gold disc and prompting Jack Warner to set up Warner Brothers Records to cater to their new star's recording career. In the following years, Hunter played opposite movie icons Gary Cooper, Rita Hayworth and Sophia Loren, but on losing the role of Tony in the movie adaptation of West Side Story, he chose a different path and took a lead role in the TV sitcom The Tab Hunter Show, becoming hugely popular in the UK, but not so much in the US. It ran for just one season. In 1961, he played opposite Debbie Reynolds in The Pleasure of His Company, starting a lifelong friendship. In 1964, he played on Broadway opposite Tallulah Bankhead in Tennessee Williams' The Milk Train Doesn't Stop Here Anymore. After Broadway, he returned to cinema, but his career was already waning, achieving only co-star roles in science fiction B-movies and spaghetti westerns. This is the life until in 1972, he co-starred opposite Paul Newman in John Huston's The Life and Times of Judge Roy Bean, before sinking into mediocrity. Tab Hunter, John Huston. But in the 1980s, he gained cult status, starring opposite Divine twice, once in the John Waters classic Polyester, and again in Paul Bartel's camp western comedy Lust in the Dust. Tab Hunter is the stranger. I am the best French kisser in Chile Verde. If I come across a Frenchman, I'll be sure and let him know. And Divine is Rosie Valles. Come and get it. In 2005, the autobiography Tab Hunter Confidential exposed the gay underbelly of classic Hollywood with a documentary based on the book released in 2015. Tab, when I was young, he just was amazing looking. Beautiful California surfer that every single girl or boy would want to make out with. And in 2018, Paramount Pictures announced it was producing a movie about the love affair between Tab Hunter and fellow actor Anthony Perkins. On July the 8th, 2018, Hunter passed away aged 86, survived by his partner of 35 years, producer Alan Glazer. Well, that's all from us for this week. Don't forget to watch our daily bulletins throughout the week on Pink 60 News and join us again next time for more Pink 60 Entertainment.